Hi, my name's Neil McGill and today I would like to talk to you about ball position and really positioning the ball correctly in your stance with the various clubs that you're going to use. Now ball position is one of the, the real fundamentals of the game but something that's often overlooked by players. Uh, but ball position controls both ball trajectory, it controls strike on the ball and there is a real directional uh, element to ball position as well and that when that's wrong can really send the ball off direction. So we're going to look at four different clubs in the bag. Now first of all I've got a gap wedge here. Now with the wedges these are the positions furthest back in the stand. So as I take my gap wedge here, the ball should be positioned pretty much in the centre of my stance. This helps me to strike down on the ball, catching ball before turf, helping create spin. And the reason this is so important is with a short club, if I stand side on to you, you'll notice that my upper body posture is very much over the ball. Because the club is short, I have to tip forwards to get my club head down to the ground. This in turn creates quite a steep angle of swing to strike down into the back of the ball. So with the short clubs, centre of stance. And then move on to middle iron, and I've got a number six iron here. Now, six iron again is still a club that's struck on the downswing, but a six iron is a good three to four inches longer than what my wedge is. So you can see with the length of the club difference there, what that does to my posture is a slightly longer club. Although I'm still tipped forwards, I'm not tipped as far forwards as I was with the wedge. So although my angle of attack is still downwards on the ball, it's shallowed slightly from what the wedge. Now, to help with that, we move the ball position now slightly forwards in the stands. So with a six iron or a middle iron, somewhere between the centre of the stance and our left foot. If you find that a difficult position to find, start with your feet together, make a small step with your left foot, and then around double that with your right foot. That will put the ball between centre and left foot. That's a nice easy way and a simple tip to, to help you find that ball position. So six iron, again struck on a slight downward angle of attack, creates a nice strong ball flight, but enough lift to have the ball carrying the distance that you want. I'm then going to show you a fairway wood. Now I have a number three wood here. Three wood we're, and a fairway wood really, we're positioning the ball just inside the left heel. So with a fairway wood the swing really has shallowed out now. So against the six iron we're another three to four inches longer. So you're looking at six, seven inches longer than my gap wedge was. So my angle of attack now is much shallower, but with a fairy wood still on the downswing slightly. Position of the ball then, just inside the left heel. So this helps us, as it's not such a downward angle of attack, this helps us to lift the ball slightly more, because it's a little bit more of a sweeping action. My posture with the fairy wood is much more upright. I'm still tipped forwards, but not as forwards as I was with either the six iron or with the wedge and if you and one of the faults we see with players with a fairway wood is having the ball too far back in the stands. Now the problem when you do that with a fairway wood is you may only with a three wood be starting with 15 degrees of loft. You have the ball too far back and you're into one or two degrees of loft on the club at address. Therefore when you strike the ball your dynamic loft is going to be so low that it's very difficult for you to flight the ball and get the ball airborne. So fairway wood just inside the left heel. We then move on to the driver. Longest club in the bag and the club that most players strike struggle with um, to hit with any form of consistency and this is with all level of player it's a difficult club to hit. What is different about the driver is this is the one club in the bag that we actually strike the ball not on the downswing but actually with the driver that your club has already reached the low point of the swing and it's now working upwards as it strikes the ball. This is why the ball is teed up so high with the driver. So the ball struck on the upswing creates a nice high launch angle, reduces the amount of backspin because backspin creates a drag and, and has a habit of ballooning the ball up in the air. We're looking for high launch, low spin. The way to do that is get the ball forwards, keep yourself set behind, and through ball position, this allows us again to strike upwards. So with my posture with the driver, you can see I'm much, much more upright with the driver than I was even with a three wood, with a six iron, and then with a wedge. You can see my posture gradually tipping further and further forward. So just a quick recap. Longest club in the bag, furthest forwards in the stance. Driver, left foot. Shortest club in the bag, the wedges, middle of the stance. Every other club just gradually stepped between. There's a real important fundamental, something you shouldn't forget, something you should get into a habit of putting into your preset routine. So please concentrate on this, have a practice with it, and we'll see you next time.